Cantor, it's an incredible opportunity to speak with you once again. I want to begin by thanking you for having joined us last weekend at the Boca Raton Synagogue. The energy you created, your remarks have left an indelible impression on our whole community, so thank you. Rabbi, thanks so much. Um, the Jewish community takes incredible pride in the fact that you are the highest elected uh, Jew ever in the history of this country. And my first question I'm wondering is how much that means to you, how much you've thought about that in your ascension and your rise to the position that you currently serve. Uh, Rabbi, I, I try and take uh, take each day on one day at a time, and uh, I, I can say that um, I am um, an individual who was born Jewish, raised in a traditional Jewish home, uh, uh, someone who is dedicated to the teachings um, of um, our faith, uh, the Torah. What of the which of the Jewish values? Um do you think could, could most help transform this country, influence this country in a positive direction? Judaism uh, obviously has within it a strong pillar in terms of the teachings of Tikkun Olam. Uh, and for us to realize that uh, in America we have a tremendous blessing uh, to be Americans, to participate uh, in this great democracy. Uh, but at the same time, realizing it's not all about us, it is about taking care of community, it is about uh, helping others all rise together. Thank you. Is it lonely being the only Jewish Republican in, in Congress? And have you ever found that being Jewish, your Jewish identity has in any way um, compromised a position or been challenging for you to be able to assert any leadership? Yeah, I, I've never found any, uh, any rejection of my being a Jew or any... Um, any way that that somehow gets in the way. Uh, you know, our country has been blessed uh, in that all faiths are able to thrive. How has uh, Judaism, how have the Torah, Jewish values inform and inspire your decision making, your judgment, your leadership on a regular basis? You know, it, it is, um, you know, the, the fact that we're born Jew Jewish never has um, uh, necessarily entitled us to anything. We, we, we all believe that uh, you know, our lifetime should be committed to um, focusing on the mitzvot, to making sure that we are upholding God's teachings and commandments each and every day. Uh, and uh, there is uh, effort required. Uh, you know, in Pirkei Avos it says that the, the harder you work, the sweeter the reward. Uh, and I think that is also um, very applicable to what democracy is about. Uh, you know, we have to work at freedom. It doesn't necessarily come for free. Uh, and we are held accountable uh, by the people of our country if you're in elected office, uh, just as you know, God holds us accountable for, uh, for what we do. What's your favorite Jewish holiday? What's your favorite Jewish food? Any specific Jewish ethnic food that stands out? <laughs> you know, I guess you have to say Passover because somehow, uh, you know, Passover has all the uh, sort of mix of, you know, joy, of sacrifice, of, of uh, eating food that we may not necessarily love, but somehow it, it becomes, you know, a gathering point for discussion. Uh, but obviously the teachings uh, around uh, the Seder and of our people and the freedom um, that uh, the Jewish people were, were given uh, by God at that time, I think is very emblematic of who we are as a people. Uh, and... Uh, the seeking of all of us for redemption, and uh, so I'd, I'd have to say Passover. One final question. Any Jewish role models that stand out? Anyone you look at in your own upbringing, in your own past, in your own development, a Jewish role model that stands out for you, or someone that you didn't interact with but who you studied or you're knowledgeable of and they inspire who you are? Modern day heroes, Golda Meir is one who I think sort of demonstrates that, uh, that grit, that commitment, that vision, uh, and putting it into action for the Jewish people. Uh, to, uh, you know, as an antidote, if you will, of uh, sort of the persecution and the target of, uh, of, of hatred and 
um, the symbol of, of Jews uh, reaching their homeland uh, once again and seeing a dream flourish. Um, I, I've got to say that, that that stands out in my mind, but again, trying to, to seek uh, ways of humility and trying to solve problems, uh, I think that uh, my uh, being a Jew uh, and uh, having continued to participate in the learning process of our faith has, has helped me a great deal in trying to um, provide an analytical fa framework as we go forward to deal with the very difficult problems facing uh, our nation today. Well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for all that you do on behalf of uh, this country, the United States, and in defending our beloved state of Israel. We wish you only great success in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely.